In the first video, I asked you to be honest with yourself. How did you prepare? Were you really ready? Did you work in class? I hope you took a moment to think about it honestly. So let's now get into more of the meat of going back and passing the next time you go. I'm Dan Limmer from Limmer Education. You may be a little messed up because the exam doesn't give you a breakdown of your scores anymore. It doesn't give you a breakdown by section, airway, trauma, cardiac, medical operations. It only gives you an overall score from zero to 950. I certainly hope you're closer to that passing range. But regardless, now there's no guidance as far as what to study. And quite frankly, that guidance wasn't as valuable as we thought. You need to prepare yourself in your head that the next exam you're going to take is going to be totally different than the exam you just had. The National Registry is not going to give you the same questions, most likely. And if last time you got a lot of trauma and OB questions, this time you may say, I got a lot of medical and triage questions. Remember that at the EMT level, of the 70 minimum questions, you'll get 60 count, 10 or pilot. Paramedic, a minimum of 80 questions, 20 or pilot. So the test is always going to feel different. And the truth is, is you have to study for everything. You can't just go back and do sections. If you know you're weak in an area, okay, fine, do that. But you've really got to study for the whole exam. So how do you do that? If you go online, there's all kinds of advice. Much of it is bad. Go into study groups. Oh, go back to your book and do these things. You know, do this, do that. It doesn't necessarily work. I'm a textbook author. I think your book is important. But now that you're in the study mode, that book is a reference. It's not your primary source anymore. All right. Here's what I recommend you do. I recommend you find a quality app. And yes, I'm going to believe that Lemmer Education can get you those apps. But there's two things that you can do with apps. Because yes, you can study with apps and you can study with questions. And here's how. First, most apps have a review section. It's not necessarily a, a, a sample registry test. It might be a bunch of cardiology questions or trauma questions or medical questions. Go through and take those questions, all right? But when you do it, here's how I think a lot of people do it. Uh, ah, crap, I got it wrong. Boom, and you move on to the next question, all right? First thing you do is if you get a question right, I'm okay if you move on, but if you get it wrong, read the rationale answer. The rational answer is going to tell you why it's right and hopefully why some of the choices were wrong. Remember, the National Registry gives you good choices. They give you a right answer, but they don't make it really easy. They want to see if you can think by giving you answers that are close. So if you read that rationale, go back to the question, read it again, and say to yourself, what did I miss? What did I not read? What did I misinterpret? What did I not value that would have helped me get this question right? It might be, oh, wow, the word shallow was there with respirations. Yeah, I guess I should have ventilated. it. Or, wow, look at that heart rate. That's why they had low cardiac output and shock. Then it goes in your head. That's how you practice to do that. Number two. Keep a piece of paper, keep your iPad, whatever it is next to you, to write down things you don't know. That's where the book comes in. Go back to your book and then look that up. The book now when you're studying is a resource. It's not your primary source anymore. The book gives you information. It has review questions, but it's, it's two-dimensional, right? In there, there's not a lot of opportunity to apply, it's getting the information there, then applying it with the test questions, right? So when you use these questions, I need you to take them seriously, to read the rationale. Don't just flip through and say, man, I did horrible on that exam, without taking the opportunity to learn, right? That's what this is good for, right? Seek out any knowledge you don't have. Be open to say, okay, I've got some limitations here and I can do this because this will help you get used to good questions anyways. will get you more used to the National Registry exam style of questions. And if you read the rationale and go back, you can train yourself to get those questions and you can do that. So the three components really, you got to have knowledge 
And then good test questions can really help get your mind wrapped around that National Register style of questions. And if you go through and get knowledge and you take questions and start to feel more confident, then you'll get mojo, right? You think you may know it here, but do you feel it here that you can go back and pass? And I believe that's different. Don't just take test questions. Learn from test questions. Make them a tool to help you succeed.